Hello, welcome to the video on Boyle's Law. All right, Boyle's Law states, excuse me, that if you have a fixed amount of gas at constant temperature, the pressure and volume of the gas are inversely related. So this means that if the pressure goes up, the volume goes down, or if the volume goes up, the pressure goes down. Okay, so if one quantity increases, the other decreases. Okay, and this, um, the product of the two is a constant. Okay, so if you look here, you have a, a cylinder, and it has a pressure of one atm, and the volume is two. Okay, if we half the volume of the container, okay, think about how you're pushing those molecules, those gas molecules, closer together. So if we half the volume, so we start at a volume of two and we go to one, then the pressure is going to double. Okay, so that's the relationship. So we half the volume, we decreased it, but the pre the inc you increase the pressure. So think about, you know, if you have a balloon and you try to press on it and you move those molecules closer together, okay, the volume is going to decrease. Okay, and so the pressure increases. And so we have an equation that explains this behavior, and it is P1V1 equals P2V2. Okay, P1 and V1 are your initial conditions. Okay, one, you can think of that as I for initial, either one, either way. P is for pressure, V is volume. And P2 and V2, the two stands for your final conditions or your new conditions. Okay, so we can obviously do, um, some practice with this and do calculations. Okay, if we have a four liter container of helium gas and it has a pressure of 10 atm, we want to find what pressure will the gas exert if the volume is increased to six liters. So right away from my law, I know if volume increases, then pressure has to decrease. So if you get a, a number that's higher than 10, you know you did something wrong, okay? So you first just identify what you know here. So we have your four liters, okay? So you have your V1, that's your initial, and you have your P1. We're looking for P2 your final pressure, and the volume is decreased, so that's your V2. Okay, so that's just written out like here, exactly what I pointed out there. All right, so now we have to know our equation. P1V1 equals P2V2. Okay, whichever variable you are solving for, you want to isolate it by itself and just rearrange the equation. So this is just algebra here. So if I'm looking for P2, okay, then I've got to isolate P2 by itself. Okay, so you divide both sides by V2. So you get P2 equals P1V1 over V2. Okay, for these equations and these calculations to work, you have to be given three of the four variables, right? You've just got to, you're only going to be solving for one. Okay, and so now that you've rearranged, you just have to plug in the numbers that were given to you in the equate in the problem. Okay, so now let's solve. Here's our rearranged equation. Okay, if you were looking for V1, then you would rearrange and put V1 by itself. So it doesn't matter. What's over here is whatever's in the problem, what it's asking you for. Our P1 was 10.0 atm, our V1 was 4.0 liters, and our V2 was 6.0 liters. So when we multiply those, divide by 6, notice that our liters cancel and we're left with atm, which is exactly what we need for our pressure unit. Okay, and so we get 6.7 ATM as the answer. All right.
So there are lots of examples of Boyle's Law in you know, everyday life, even um, if you think about a scuba diver, for example, as they are um, go down below sea level, the pressure increases and the volume decreases. And so that's why um, you have to wear submersible suits and you have to, you can only go so far because the pressure increases so much that it would, it would crush you. Okay. And so, and then there's the opposite effect when you go on, a, you're up on a mountain, right? So pressure is decreasing. Okay. And so, um, volume increases. Um, also, Boyle's Law is, there's an example, um, every time you breathe. So when you inhale, your rib cage expands, okay, and this increases the volume in the lungs, which causes the pressure to decrease. So air is drawn into the lungs to equalize the pressure. And then when you exhale, the rib cage contracts, making the volume of the lungs decrease, Okay, and this causes the pressure to increase so that air is expelled out of the lungs. Okay, and so every time you breathe, you are an exhibit of Boyle's Law. All right, I hope this helps, and I will see you soon.